In a course on linear algebra, systems of linear equations should be review. But our textbook does have a chapter on systems of linear equations, and it does evolve beyond just the, the basics that we learned in algebra. So I'm going to go ahead and do this section. Uh, chapter 1, section 1.1 is called systems, level, systems of Linear Equations. And uh, let's get started. In this section, we're going to define what a linear equation is, what a system of linear equations is. We're going to look at a graphical or a geometric representation of a system of linear equations and talk about what it means to be a solution to a system of linear equations. And we'll look at a couple of applications to round out the section. So let's start with our definition. A linear equation is just an equation that can be written in the following form. A1 x1 plus a2 x2 plus a3 x3 plus a4 x4. This could get pretty tedious. I could keep doing this pretty much indefinitely. a5 x5. So I'm going to take a shortcut and I'm going to say let's go all the way up to a and I'm going to use the subscript n here because in addition to all the other notation, which I will describe in a moment, um, I want to say that it doesn't really matter how many terms I have in my equation. Uh, there are other features that are important, but the number of terms is not. Um, a uh, a n x n equals b. So that's the form that I have to be able to write this equation in if I want to call it uh, a linear equation. The a's, a sub 1, a sub 2, and so on, are coefficients. And the x sub i, the x, I talk about the ith term or the ith coefficient or the ith variable, uh, i being just a generic, i for index, i just being a generic number, kind of an unknown number. Uh, x sub i is, or r, the variables. OK, uh, b is a, a number. And actually, all the a's are also real numbers. So that's what a linear equation is. But here's an example. Uh, I might try, I might write 3x1 plus 2x2 equals 7. This is a linear equation because it can be written in the form a sub 1 x sub 1 plus a sub 2 x sub 2 equals b. OK? In fact, even the, the generic sort of linear equation I've got written up here, we don't usually write that many terms. It's usually just a sub 1, x sub 1, a sub 2, x sub 2, and then our dot, 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 a sub n, x sub n. Okay, this is the, this is the more common form. You'll see this, and I, I wrote more terms in the initial example that I was doing just because I wanted you to see, first of all, that you can go on and on and on and on, um, but that it can get tedious. And so that makes it uh, even that much more attractive to write it more like this. Okay, uh, so here's one example. Oops, got the wrong pen going here. There we go. Uh, here's one example of a linear equation. Uh, here's another one. 2x plus 5y equals 12. And in this case, I haven't used x sub 1 and x sub 2. I've used two different letters. And I can do that to a point, and it's a little bit easier to distinguish between the variables if you do that. But uh, at a certain point, it becomes cumbersome. For example, uh, these are both linear equations in two variables. Here's a linear equation in three variables, uh, 5x1 plus 7x2 plus 0.3x3 equals 19. And here's another one, 3.1x plus 2y minus 17.9z equals 0. Okay. 
Um, so in this column here right now, I am using X, Y, and Z. I'm using sort of late alphabet characters. In the first column, I'm using uh, subscripts to denote my variables. And that's fine up to three or maybe even four variables. You might start with W and then have X, Y, and Z. But as you've seen, we can have a, an almost indefinite number of terms, an in, indefinite number of variables in our linear equations. So at a certain point, it becomes cumbersome to try to name them all. I mean, if you were using the alphabet and you had more than 26, uh, 26 variables, you'd have to start using AA and AB as, as variables. And that just becomes really cumbersome. So we tend to use this uh, subscript notation instead. You'll see that quite a lot. What's really important to notice here, though, is that each one of these uh, equations, let me go back to 3x sub 1 plus 2x sub 2 equals 7. Each one of these variables is raised to the first power. Okay, so the fact that the, the graph of this thing would be a line is what gives this a kind of equation its name linear, linear equation. Um, it's worth noting that not every equation that has variables that go to the first power, that, that, that definition isn't quite sufficient because if I have something like xy equals 7, uh, that is not a linear equation because if you multiply the powers of these two or add the powers together, you get a power of 2. Uh, this thing is going to be, uh, if I rewrite this a little bit, y equals 7 over x, that's going to give me a graph that looks something like this. Right, that is not a line, so this is not a linear equation. In fact, I'll go ahead and cross that out. So we have it in our notes that that is a uh, counterexample. That's not a linear equation. The coefficients can be any real number. So in spite of the fact that I, I'm not going to have, let me see if I can squeeze another counterexample in here, uh, 3 over x plus 2 I'll call that x1, 2x2 equals 7. That is not uh, a linear equation, but 1 over 3 x sub 1 plus uh, square root of 2 x sub 2 minus pi x sub 3. Uh, let's see, what else can I squeeze in here? Uh, plus e squared x sub 4 equals, let's say, uh, root 17. That is a linear equation because each one of these is to the power of what's the variables that are to the first power. And the coefficients are real numbers, right? And the powers are not multiplied as they, as they were over here. So what is a linear equation? In short, a linear, linear equation is an equation that can be written in this form. That highlight's probably a little bit hard to see. Um, but this is, this is a linear equation. Here's the shortened version of it. And what's key is that the variables are all to the first power, not multiplied by another variable. And the numbers in front are called coefficients. As long as the coefficients are real numbers and the terms have variables raised to the first power, not combined in any way, the way they were in this, this counterexample down here, then what we have is a linear equation. 